Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. TGIF, ladies and gentlemen. Thank God it's Friday. A little before eight in the morning, Friday, October 21st. Yep, 2022. Do you remember this bad boy right here? This is a general automatic gas-fired hydronic boiler. And about eight months ago, in the video that's right up here, um, we had to restore the gas service to this customer's house because carbon monoxide was pouring out of this thing because this was on. Nonetheless, we're taking this out today and we're putting in the Whale McLean CGA4 gas-fired boiler. Really going to be a really nice install. What really makes this a really nice, nice job and I don't normally do installs on a Friday, is that we're doing it for a very, very close and dear friend. So when a friend doesn't have safe and proper heat, then what else is there to do? Take it out, put in a Mikey pipe special. Let's go. Got the GoPro. You're not going to want to miss this one. Smash that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Let's get going. One of the things we're going to do first here is we're going to take a look at the chimney and you can see we don't have a chimney liner in there i don't know if you can see that all right so we're going to have to recommend that the homeowner gets a stainless steel chimney liner in for this because eventually eventually that terracotta that you see straight back ahead that is going to be a problem that is eventually going to collapse upon itself and it's not going to be good it's actually be much more expensive to uh get that liner installed once you have the internal lining collapse upon itself all right let's take a look a quick little station identification um with the front cover removed this is the gas regulator this is the gas valve quite quite uh <laughs> quite an, an antique right there if you could see here's the thermal coupling that i just wiggled into place um the one of the relays here this one crapped out so we made this one work <laughs> uh fortunately the aquastat relay which is there that was still working so we're still good with that but expansion tank air scoop these are flow checks uh your dual pressure re reducing and relief valve uh, there's a zone 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 and we are going to be um, we're going to be pumping away. <clears throat> I did, I messed up here. I thought we had two pipes leaving, that this was a split return, but it's not. It's actually the <sighs> supply. So yeah, we'll still be all right. We'll be all right. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. All right, so we have our Milwaukee M18 transfer pump here. We're going to start pumping this bad boy down. Uh, Peter, is a is a, a valve right there. Straight ahead with the yellow handle. We're gonna hook up the pump to that. I'll take the hose. Let's go find a place to dump this. All right, so as Peter's setting up the hose with the transfer pump, we're gonna open up these check valves. And you could do that by just turning the knob on the top, these older, well, this is made by Floatrol. <laughs> wow, it's old. This one is completely broken off, as you can see. So hopefully, maybe just maybe this will work, which I doubt. Everything's moving. I think this is gonna start leaking once I take that out completely. And there's another flow check right here. So we'll open up those. Oh, All right, 10 after eight in the morning. We have supply piping removed, the vent piping removed. Um, here are my three thermostats, three 24 volt thermostats. Here's one, two, and three. I don't really care what, where they go. Right now I just need them separated. If I have low voltage wiring, then I don't, I don't got to deal with a rib relay. I don't got to deal with line voltage thermostats. I don't got to deal with none of that nonsense. 
Um, we're gonna clean. We're gonna take all this shit out of here. This is going to be one uh, return, a, th a second return, and our split first floor return. Uh, we're gonna keep this for now, and we're gonna cut here and uh, connect to our return side. We don't have a three-quarter inch ball valve, right? Press ball valve. That sucks. You know what this is like? This is like Chinese water torture. <coughs> yeah, <that's annoying. laughs> it's like being waterboarded. Have you ever been waterboarded? Thankfully not. No? Would you like to be waterboarded? No, I don't say I don't see it as that much of a big deal. They put they put a towel over your face, right? I'm sure this works. And then they pour water on it across it. I don't get it. I guess you just slowly drown. Yeah, but just don't breathe when they're pouring water on you. I right? Guess. But but then when they're done pouring water, they're still soaking through the towel. Oh. So constantly breathing in water. Maybe. Oh, now I get it. Water boarded. Oh, they stand Manhandling this bitch. All right. Hold on. Take that. And take this. Minus the hose, of course. Thank you. Yep, we're gonna press this all in. And we're gonna take this, since we're still waiting for Daniel, we'll put this right here. Right up there. See? Right there. This boiler is heavy, ladies and gentlemen. It is heavy. Uh, she is not light. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, get rid of all the rest of the garbage. Yeah, do that first. Okay. One of the first things we're going to do when and Daniel gets here yep. is you're going to get one drop cloth yep. and extend the drop cloth and then get rid of all the garbage out there. Okay. Um, and then I want to get this valve in so I can get that out of the way. And then we can get this beast out of here. Uh, let's see. The easiest way of doing this is not going to be easy way. And I don't even know if this is going to fit through the freaking door. Where's that tape measure? There it is. I don't think this is going to fit, even fit through the door. This is 26 inches. Wow. 26? No, 29. Yeah, that should be fine too. Yeah, we'll make it. We'll clear it. Okay. Not too shabby. All right. Let's get the water off. We have the jaw, the machine ready. Yeah, Good. Press it yes. Let's do this real quick. Star Wars room. Stormtrooper. Wow, great pressure. Woo. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, that was impressive. Ready? I'll get your uh, three quarter jaw on there. You're not gonna have that much water. Just a little bit, we have a bucket there anyway. Compliments of Ferguson. Yeah. Not a sponsor of the channel. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, press that in. Very nice. Let me turn the water back on. And minimal disruption. 
that's the magic of ProPress. That's the magic of ProPress, ladies and gentlemen. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Oh, did you get all the air out? Oh. All right, we're good. Minimal dis oops. Minimal disruption. All right, so now that's isolated. Let's get rid of the majority of the stuff that we have here. And we're gonna have to get this thing out of here. One way or another. I'm probably gonna stand it up. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stand this bad boy up. I'm a lunatic, but that's what we're gonna do. I need the sawzall. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut this shit off here. It's like cutting through freaking uh, diamonds. Damn. killed that blade okay I killed the blade now Oof. you just touch that with your hand you burned right through the yeah some sort of <laughs> what a thin little five millimeter five ml no what are you doing hold on I'm just gonna change the there we go. <laughs> okay now, let's put this off to the side. I want to stand this bad boy up. Let's pull it over a little bit more to me. Oh, the damn freaking asbestos tile floor. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can push it. All right, try to... Pull? Yeah. There you go. Good. Now. There's not going to be that much water in here. But I want to try to lift this thing up. Right? Because the center of weight, well, the majority of the weight is on the bottom half of this machine. Yeah. Right? So we can't go this way with it out because it's too wide. Excuse me. We have to go this way with it. So if we lift it up and put the hand truck underneath it, we'll be good. The only damn part about that is we're going to get a lot of water out of the backside. But the majority of it is gone. So you ready? We're going to lift it up. One, two, three. Okay. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Good. See? All right. There's the little baby boiler. I know, so this is three, and this is two, right? I had, I had, I didn't see the third pipe leaving the boiler, the third supply when I was here, I don't know, some time ago, and I thought it was two 
pipes leaving with a split return for one of them making a three returns, and I planned and, and built a material list, a takeoff list, for having everything on the return. And you'll see as we're going to do this board totally different than we normally do, all the circulators are going to be on the return side. And because I'm really trying to like, you know, help a friend out and not really kill the, kill the bank, we're doing a common purge, right? We have an inch and a quarter IPS ball valve. And then above that, we have a T with a boiler drain and then the, the three zones or three loops coming back. So I don't have to spend $200 on isolation flanges above and uh, top and below. You don't have to do it that way, but you know, for a regular retail customer, that's how I do it. Mm -hmm. It builds value. Isolate each zone though? Like Leaving? Uh, well, just to be able to, to. I'm confused with the purging. Per You'll see. I, came late, I know, you came late to the party. <laughs> You're good. The objective right now, let's get that power mate out of the, out of the truck. Oh, uh, yeah, take that out. And we're going to get the old boiler out of the house by means of that, because there's no other way of doing it. Oh wow, look at you do that again. Yeah. I thought you go to the, you don't go to the gym anymore, do you? I still go, not as religiously. How often do you go? I've been gone in a week now. You haven't been in a week? Yeah. How often do you normally go? Oh, I try to do three times. A week? Yeah. Okay, keep doing it. I'm not always on three, sometimes it's two. But you do go at least once a week? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so when they yeah. sold me this, you they'll It's gonna fold right on his toe. It's gonna to break his toe. <laughs> All right, let's go. We need a drop cloth. You ready? Let me show you what we're doing. You can bring it down if you want. Oh, that? Oh, I was gonna put it on my back. I'll put it on your back. No? Try it. Try lifting it up. Hi. The battery died. We didn't realize it. Oh, we did. We don't have to lie. There's the boiler. All right. And here we go. Um. <laughs> are we using the lift mechanism up these stairs? Well, how many of you are there? Not enough. There's not enough, right? Yeah. That's what we have. The Power Might Electric Claire Stim Claire Stiming. Claire Claire Stair Climbing Hand Truck, right? All right. We are gonna clear, right? The door? Oh. I measured. Okay. Right? Okay. It is a little You wanna measure again? Let's measure. Because the boiler is not really centered on this thing. We're out a couple inches. Take this edge of the boiler. Yeah, right there. Uh -uh. What do you got? 27? No, with these things. Look. Yeah. No, 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 this. No, that's yeah, that's like 28 and a half. Now go upstairs, measure that door. 29. We may have to ship the boiler back over. Is it dripping anything? No? Okay. Oh, 29. Okay, 29 good. So we need to scooch this over a little bit. Ready? Put it down. Got it? The boiler needs to slide over a little bit. You guys try to push, I'll hold the hand truck. Actually, let me... Uh... Team effort. There you go. Good. The front, the front will move. The front's good. Level. Okay. Now. And this one went there. No, it went this way. <coughs> this is not tight at all. Yeah. What the hell is he doing up there? Uh, someone knocked on the door. I think there's someone here. Okay, try to latch it. Good. 
No, the top one's loose. Uh, top one's loose? Okay. So, hold on. Hold on. Go. Good. Okay. Now, the magic uh, with this, it's all about the leverage. Right? The higher I make this, the more it's like putting in, it's like putting a cheetah wrench, a pipe on it to make a cheetah wrench, right? Yeah. Same thing. Now I'm going to bring it back down. I hope it has a weight, it does have a weight limit, by the way. Imagine it died like halfway off the staircase. Do you want to go on top or you want to go on bottom? Uh, what would you prefer? I feel like the bottom might be easier, but. I think the bottom is where we need the most people. You don't really, actually, technically speaking, I can do this by myself. That's crazy. Yeah, true. Okay, watch out. Oh, what do we do? Oh, you motherfucker. The, the thing. Oh, lift it other way around? No, other way. And drop it in. Lock it to place. Okay, good. Am I still recording? Yeah. Sure am. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now it's all about the leverage. Okay. Oh, hold on. Uh, I need to go close to this a little bit more. Okay, tilt towards me. Okay. I'm gonna go up a little bit. Right there. We good? Okay. Good. Now. Sure you got it? Sure? We have to get to that first lap. Am I past it? Yeah. So now, I need to come in a little bit. Ah, uh, hold on, I'm not... <clears throat> Maybe if you go up two at a time? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Should I do one more? Uh, okay, here we go. Uh. <laughs> wow, the center of weight. Uh. Get the first lip. I'm losing it. A little more, a little more, and then you could go in. Good? You should catch, yeah. Should? Yeah. Uh, are you sure? I think we're off. I think we're off. Are we not? We are, but. Okay. Alright. Next. <laughs> okay. Next slip. Alright, you'll land on the second. You, that, okay, you sure? Want to go up a little more? I take a little more. Okay, hold on. Yes? Yep, yeah. Okay. Next slip. I'm on the top step now, okay? okay. There's no more steps. Okay. So I would like to get this up. I'm clear, right? Yeah. Good. <laughs> my only worry is it falls off and kills one of you. That's my only worry. It's not that bad. It was like just resting on my uh, leg. And 
There's a video, right, online with this thing. The guy lifts like a, a 6,000 pound safe with it. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Six, yeah. No. Go right out the door with it. We have to bring that drop cloth over here. I got the boiler. Okay, good. It'd be nice to go out the garage with it. Okay, hold on. Turn. I got stairs. Fucking chairs. Okay. <laughs> yeah, baby. This is when we get fucked, though. Let's put it down for now. All right. Sorry, I haven't recorded in a little bit. Let me show you what we got done so far. Uh, it's Friday, and of course, the reason why I don't do boils on Friday, not only because, you know, it's the Sabbath the next day, and I like to be home early, and something goes wrong, you know, especially in the wintertime, you know, the sun down, go, goes down early. Uh, but also, my mind is different. <laughs> my mind is already on weekend mode, and of course, I didn't think about having inch and a quarter black pipe and we need inch and a quarter black pipe to come up from the top of this T which contains tridicator gauge up about 22 inches to come across because I need to accommodate my air scoop, my air separator, my T for my expansion tank and my boiler feed valve. So whatever. Over here I'm working on the return right now and what I was saying before is that we're gonna do a common purge. Or, all right, so here's my isolation valve and here's my purge station. And I'm gonna have isolation flanges here, right? So I can do each, one, each zone individually through one valve. It is cheaper and it's gonna save about $275 off the installation if I do it that way. And again, I'm trying to help out a friend who's kind of a little tight about money right now. So uh, this saves $275 in, you know, a multi-thousand dollar project. So it is what it is. So there's one. Let's get another. Where are my... Oh, there they are. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I took the wrong one. I th oh. Not, oh. No bueno. There's no one Maybe there is. Okay. One of the, I need one of these. Okay. We able to find the IFC? I'll grab it. Yeah, I'll grab it. Just tell us who's in here. Sure. Alright. I try to at least have everything uniform, right? I don't like to be, have one different, but it looks like one is going to have to be different because I thought it was IPS and it's actually press. So it is what it is. Okay, there's that one there, right? The rotating flanges is gonna be really nice. Let me grab this boiler drain, okay? And we're going to put some Teflon tape on that next. I like to wrap around six times. And that's going to be my purge station right there. Okay. Just like that. I really like the quarter turn valves. But this came with the boiler. Might as well use it. Right. Beautiful. Uh, Danny, you check the fish truck right now. He told me to bring this in and ask you if you want it all apart or just the elbow off. I want the elbow. Uh... I need the elbow and the coupling off. It sucks. Matter of fact, oh, what do you have here? He told me to bring that in. He told you to bring this in. <laughs> you 
You know why he told you to bring this in, right? So I could do it. Oh, that's tightening. I want to loosen. So let's put this in there. Now, the people at Pipe Vice upgraded us. Remember? Yeah, they were really cool back there. Let's get this a little bit closer. There you go, motherfucker. Yeah. Did you talk to the owner on the phone? Yeah. Sure did. Look at that. That's right. Now, where we we may have some diff oh he sprayed it down with the croil, didn't he? Yeah. He sprayed it down with the croil. Come on, baby. We're not gonna need those. Get rid of those. Get them out of the room. Okay. God damn it. Okay. Okay. Now. <laughs> Daniel brought it in because he couldn't get it off himself. Ain't that funny? That's funny. That's what he's been doing for the past 20 years. Uh, all right, hold on. Let's see what happens. Is this how it broke last time? Yeah, but oh well. Put like, put some weight there. You know, grasp it. No, no, no. Put some weight there. Uh, not too much weight. A little bit of weight, okay? And I'm going to stand on this. <laughs> Slipped off. Okay, hold on. It's a cast iron fitting. We may have to break it off, but let's see. I'm going to... Yeah, baby! Yeah! <laughs> hold on. Get back in there. Come on, it moved. Uh, yeah, you motherfucker, you. <laughs> uh, what's the matter, Daniel? You didn't have your Wheaties this morning? Yeah. What is wrong with you, maggot? Come on, baby. It's super easily. Uh, this one was a little hard. It's this one, the, the tea was hard because it's a cast iron fitting. But come on, the, nip, the alpa coupling? That was a piece of cake. Oh. Come on, you better eat some more Wheaties. I don't have a plan. Okay, we have, um, what's that? There's another box there. That one, is that IPS? Press. Is it really press? That is press. Oh, it's press then. It is press. Motherfucker. Yeah, that's not this out of my truck. Oh, the flange out of my truck? Yeah. Okay. Peter Campbell. We'll use that. It is what it, really? I don't have one? You checked? You sure? I'll check again because I'm going back. This spot, this label flanges, right? No, no, no. Oh. It, it may be on the shelf where the, uh, next to where the circulators are, but in that area. Yeah. Or on those shelves on the, dri on the driver's side truck of the truck. <sighs> okay. Yeah, baby. Get that money. No. It'll be right. I oh, know, but you cut. Oh, is this done? Uh, yeah, that piece is right. Okay. So let's get this piece on here. Yeah. Get that money. Get that money. So yeah, too much dope on here. <coughs> okay. There we go. There we go, baby. How's that look? Now I need an elbow. I'm putting the wrong, the wrong drawer, the wrong bin. How's it look? You okay, right? Yeah. Put like a rock under it. The angle, or it's, I guess it's angle. That's good. Right That's good. Right. Yeah. All right, let's tighten this up and get the show on the road. And the one is jaw. For the last one. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are very, very, very behind schedule. It is 9.30, sorry, 10, <laughs> 10.35 Friday, October 21st, 2022. And believe it or not, everything that we need, I don't have. <coughs> Daniel has been to the supply house three times already <laughs> and back to the shop twice. I am just out of it today and this is really not going to be one of the, my finer looking machines. It's not. It's still going to be nice, right? But we don't have the, I, the isolation flanges on top because I wasn't thinking that I needed flanges to connect to a circle. I thought it, I thought it with the pipe was going to connect to the circulator by osmosis. I really thought it was going to be. That would be pretty. Look, that would look kind of cool. That would look kind of cool, actually. They should make the top flanges black. Uh, you, know, be you know what? This reminds me, that, that concept right, right there, reminds me of yesterday's completely hacked Aosmith uh, water heater that they made into a power vent. And they just rammed that, <laughs> that vent pipe on top, top of the draft assembly with silicone. You could just silicone that I could silicone. High temperature silicone it would probably work. Right? And if I, my name was Chuck and I had a truck, and it was Chuck and the truck, and your name was Jose, and I had Hose B. Yeah, I guess. And now they're gonna call me racist. Oh, Mikey Pipes, you have something against the Mexicans? Like, no, I love Selena Gomez. <laughs> I impressed myself, look at this. <laughs> look at that uh, half inch conduit. It literally is just wedged in there, <laughs> and it works. But there's the... Uh, my Honeywell three zone switching relay. There's our three zones ready with the Wagos to connect everything. We're gonna run some wire from the uh, 1900 box. I'm gonna put a switch, which is right here. We've got the wire. Nice, thank you. I wish I had like another color, but this works. We have black and red, and I'm gonna feed these wires through the conduit. Now we've measured. There you go. Good. So, not yet. Let's get rid of the black in there. Shove the black. The red, we're gonna make our neutral. Okay, beautiful. And yeah, okay, a little extra, it's fine. Let's put this together. All right, there's my switch. There's my wire going to the relay. And I put a little spade connector on there. I'm gonna wrap this with electric tape and put the switch cover on and secure that up. I'm gonna put some tape on it first. And then uh, get the show on the road. Get the show on the road. We're getting making progress. We just basically have electric to do, right? Electric. We're gonna do water supply. The supplies are connected, right? So we need to do water expansion tank. Uh, you know, connect this. You know, three screws per connection. Furnace cement, electric purge. Not bad. And it's eleven twenty-five. Um, we have that switch plate. That's right there, please. Perfect. Thank you. All right, 125. Just about done. It's got to clean up. There is our Honeywell three zone switching relay. I really like this. It's nice. It's really, really nice. My three circulators, common purge, uh, basement, one floor up and the top floor. Um, Daniel's going to work on doing a combustion analysis. We should, we should use the raised oval dome. Okay. I like those. I can also give a shout out to Armored Decal and maybe uh, they'll have some more business as well. Um, again, this was kind of a, it was rescheduled. We were supposed to be doing this job next week, but I ended up having to, for, you know, forgetting things. But we don't normally use a Taco air separator, but we have the inch and a quarter IPS air separator there by Taco, the 4900 series. Uh, we came across with an elbow and then picked up the two zone header, which picks up the two zones off one and then the one off the other on the pressure reducing valve the Kalefi followed by well before that downstream upstream is the Honeywell check valve 
And that's about it. It looks really nice. The only thing this homeowner has to do is make sure they get a stainless steel chimney lining. And UL listed, of course, but really, really nice. Stanley's going to just do a final commissioning startup with the, with the Testo combustion analyzer and get the show on the road. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is full disclosure. Five minutes to 2 p.m. Still Friday. Still October 21st. Still 2022. Here's the beautiful Whale McLean CGA4 gas fired boiler. What's really nice about these Whale McLean boilers, let me show you. You see that probe right there? That's not only the aquastat or the temperature sensor, the probe, but it's also the low water cutoff. Really, 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 really nice. Nice looking boiler. Now, it's Friday. We didn't have a lot of things we normally do for a boiler, but we got it up and running. We made it nice. And yeah, a boiler installation is kind of like a work of art. And this is really, truly a work of art. Yes, everyone could have done it differently. I'm not too happy how this came out over here. But it is what it is. We're trying to do a little bit of a budget install without actually cutting any corners. You see, we have everything we normally install. Premium air separator, Calefi pressure reducing valve, code required backflow preventer, extra expansion tank, isolation valve for the expansion tank, even a free bottle of water. <laughs> Let me take this out of the way. All right, there's our drip leg for the relief valve, Taco ECM circulators, Honeywell switching relay, really, really, really nice job. Nice job. Very proud of my guys and my team. We do great work. We're based in Valley Stream, New York, over on 80 East Hawthorne Avenue, right between, right just, just east of, of um, Rockaway Avenue in Valley Stream. If we're in your service territory, and always try to stay a five, seven mile radius out, give me a call, 516-348-6300. We do prompt, reliable, courteous, and professional plumbing, gas heating, and HVAC needs for residential and commercial clients in our service territory. Check out our work. Check out the YouTube channel. Um, I proud, I'm proud of the work that we do, and I'm, I proudly post almost religiously on a daily basis. Really proud of the great work we do. So if you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button, and if you've been here, watching my videos before, maybe you haven't realized you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. There's no cost or obligation. You know, let's date a little bit before we start sleeping together, all right? Catch you in the next one. Have a great weekend. Be well. God bless. Stay safe. There's one thing I forgot, Daniel. I know what it is. You know what it is? Yeah. I know. You're smart. We gotta do the raised dome sticker. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. If you want any of these details in the description box down below, I get mine from Armor Decal. They're in, they're in Ontario, Canada. Don't let those Canadians fool you. They deliver quick. They make it quick. They deliver quick. You'll get it in seven to 10 days. Easy peasy. If you like these, these boiler tags, it says do not remove. Hit me up, Mike at MikeyPipes.com. I'll tell you who I use to print these. They're not that expensive. They're, it's very, very cost effective. Just like my valve tags. Look at this. You want to know where I get this stuff? Email me, Mike at MikeyPipes.com. You don't got to spend $2,000 for, for a thousand valve tags, right? $2 a tag. I can get these for 40 cents, 25 cents each. And they're nice. Listen, this is not going to tear. It's good stuff. It's really good stuff. This is close. We never opened it back up again? I don't think so. Oh. Right, it's flat. Or is it... Is it like the other one? It should be the opposite. No, it I never should opened be, it. If it goes I never through. opened it. <laughs> and that's what a team is all about. We got each other's back. Mikey Pipe signing off.